Hello there, YouTubers. This is your homeboy, Green Bay, bringing you another video of yet another one of my cars. This one is a 2004 Acura MDX. Uh, I'm gonna, on this video, I'm gonna go over some of the uh, features that the car has. I'll uh, try to answer as many questions as I have for those of you that wanna buy one of these. Um, I'll go over some of the performance, uh, data, you know, like the horsepower, what size engine, um, and like I said before, try to answer as many questions as I can. So, without further ado, like I said, this is a 2004 Acura MDX, um, I bought it from a guy in Maryland, uh, you won't believe this thing has 264,000 miles, but I'm going to tell you what. It runs in drives like a dream. Um, I guess the guy took care of it, and uh, he I have paperwork. He did replace a transmission on it. Uh, well, he didn't replace it. He, uh, he got remanufactured by Acura. Uh, he paid $3,700 to get the transmission fixed. I have the receipt, it has a five year warranty. So uh, I'm not planning on keeping this for five years, but whoever buys it off of me, if I do sell it, it comes with the, it still has, I believe it still has like two years warranty on the transmission. Um, so anyway, like I said, this is a 2004 Acura MDX with the 3.5 liter uh, V6 engine with the VTEC. Uh, this has a VTEC on it. Um, and this one's loaded to the max. Uh, it has the fog lights. It has the sunroof. Leather interior. Heated seats. CD player. CD changer. Uh, this one has the TV uh, with the DVD player. And it works. Um, it has the Bose sound system on it. Um, and... Like I said, this one's loaded. The only thing that this one didn't come with was the GPS. But besides the GPS, it's, it's loaded. It has everything. I love it because it's roomy. It's big. I've never owned an SUV in my life before. This is the first one. I really like it. Um, the only thing I don't like on it, it's those fucking tires. They're fucking huge. Um... And I was planning on putting like aftermarket wheels on it, but I don't know yet if I'm gonna go. I don't know if I'm gonna do that yet or not. So, anyways, the color on it, it's I don't know, it's a weird color, but I seen that they're very popular. This is a very popular color for the MDX. It's like a it's like a bluish, grayish color. I don't know, it's it's it's, it's a weird color. Um but I seen that these SUVs are very, um, very what you might call it, very uh, this color. It's I see them a lot in this color. So uh, it has the dual exhaust in the back. Um, it has the keyless entry. And oh, another thing, I bought this from a police officer. The first car I ever buy from a cop. Um, and I've had a lot of cars in my life. And yeah, he's a cop. Anyway, uh, he has a lot of coffee spaces. He has one here. He has one over there. He has one here. Um, there's the uh, thing for the for the TV. Um, it has, like I said, it has the leather interior. Um, I have to vacuum it. Uh, the wood accent, I don't think that's real wood. I think that's plastic, but, you know, when you're going to buy it right now, they, they try to tell you that's real wood. Um, it has the TV right here. Let me press down. There's the TV. And like I said, it works. The DVD player is over there in front of the sh the, the shifter. Um, and it wor the TV works. Um... One thing that I didn't notice with these Acuras, the MDXs, and I see, I see like almost all of them have this issue where you see the screen, how it has the black 
circle around it. I most of the NDSs that I seen online, that I seen on YouTube and on Craigslist and on Offer Up and whatever, I noticed that they suffer from that. Um, that's a black circle. Uh, you can the, the screen still works. Let me turn it on so you can see. The um, the the screen works fine. It's just that circle there. And like I said, I've seen a lot of these with that uh, with that on the screen. But that I don't really care about that as long as everything else works and it does. Um, that's your radio. That's the DVD player. That's the the shifter. It's a five speed automatic. You got the heated seats. You got the cup holders here. You got a coffee space there. Then you have one at the top. Um, like I said, it has 264,996 miles. Um, it has the, uh, um, the radio and the cruise control buttons on the steering wheel. Over here, you got your fog lights, uh, your cruise control. And for those of you that don't know what VSA stands for, it's, it, it stands for Vehicle Stability Assistance. Uh, and that's what that stands for. There's the button for the four-wheel drive. Um, over here, you got your, uh, your, your map lights. You got your sunroof. The only thing I've done to this since I bought it, I did, I replaced all the LED lights on the in the interior with uh, super white LEDs. Got them all over the place. Uh, another thing that I did, uh, the headlights. For those of you that want to know what what color these are, these are called ice blue. And these are LEDs. These are not HIDs. HIDs is a thing of the past. People don't really really fuck with HIDs anymore. Um, so these are LEDs. Um, they're ice blue 8000K. Um, I, bought on, I bought them on eBay. I paid 19 for the for the headlights for both of them and 13 for the fog lights. And for the LEDs inside, I spent, I believe it was $7.19. It brings a pack of 13 lights. Um, they're both the same color, but you can see the diff a difference on it. And that's because the top light is a projector headlight. And then the bottom is a regular light. So even though they're the same color, if you look at them, the, 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 the top ones are... They look more blue than the ones at the bottom. But believe me when I tell you, they're both the same color. It's just the top are projector headlights and the bottom are regular. That's why they look that has that little difference in the tint of the light. So, but like I said, I bought them on eBay. The headlights I paid uh, $19 and then the fog lights I paid uh, $13. And then the ones on the inside, the LEDs inside, it brings a pack of 13. I paid $7.19. So you can see there with free shipping. Uh, you got one right here. And then you got the ones over there. And you got the ones in the doors. I did them on all, all the doors, the front doors and the back doors. Um... That's pretty much the only thing I've done to it since I bought it. I've had it now for, I would say, a month. Um, and Oh, yeah, and I changed the oil and the filter. I always do that when I buy a car. Even if the person tells me that they changed the oil, I still want to do it myself. Because sometimes people say that so that you buy the car. And when you, I mean, it's easy because all you got to do is just check the dipstick. But sometimes you can't go by that. Because sometimes what they'll do is they'll add oil to the engine so that the clean oil and the dirty oil mixes together. And then it looks like the oil is new. Uh, like I said, this is the 3.5 liter VTEC. Um, oh, yeah. The other the other thing that I did, I replaced the battery uh, with a brand new one. That's I work there at Auto Part International. If you guys need parts, let me know. Um, and... Uh, so yeah, that's it. Since I've had it, I changed the battery, 
and I replaced the lights with from regular to LEDs inside and outside. Again, this is shadow the motor. Motor didn't look like this when I bought it. Uh, the motor was really, really disgusting. I went to the car wash. I bought a bottle of Awesome, cost a dollar. Uh, it's a decreaser because they have to. They have two different Awesome. They got. Uh, they got the. They got the yellow. They got the clear bottle and the liquid is yellow, and then they have a black bottle. And the black bottle says degreaser on it, and that's what I use for the. That's what I use on all my cars when I do the engine. When I detail the engine, don't mind this bottle. This is the wax. Uh, professional wax too um i do professional detail excuse me detailing um my number 717-333-1335 i'm from Lancaster, pa if you need me if you need somebody to do a professional detail on your vehicle let me know the only thing that i didn't really do was the carpets i didn't bother with the carpet um because that's a pain in the ass, too much work. You have basically you have to take the seats out, you have to take everything out so you can do the car so to do the carpets the right way. Um as so you can see the the bagging of the carpet stained up. Um I don't like it, but it is what it is. Uh this does have three rows of seats. You got the front ones, the middle ones, and the back ones. Nobody sits here but me. So that's why I got the back seats down because it gives me more room anyway in the trunk. Um, he has a power outlet there. He has a power outlet in the front. He has a power outlet in, in inside the armrest. Um, like I said, this one has a TV with the DVD player. Uh, so anyway, if you guys are in the market to buy, you're looking to buy a MDX. The only thing I can tell you is be careful because... You know, Acura is known, and it's a shame because Acura is made by Honda, but Acura is known for having very weak transmissions. They have a bad habit of breaking down, especially the Acura TL from 1999 to 2003. The Acura MDX, um, I don't know about the RL, I haven't really, I, I had an uh, a RL, but I only had it for like two weeks, and then I sold it to a friend of mine. So, I mean, he had it for a little bit, didn't give him any tranny problems. But the only thing I can tell you is be careful with these, with the transmission. Um, This one, the transmission was replaced, like I said. I had, he gave me the paperwork, I have it in the car. Um... So really, that's what you got to look out for, because other than that, they're good cars. The engine's great. It has a lot of pick up and go, believe it or not, for being an SUV. Um, it does have a 3.5 VTEC. Um, and besides that, besides the transmission, they're good running little SUVs. I really like it. I've never owned one before. This is the first SUV I've ever owned. Um, so yeah, if you're looking to buy one, um, that's the thing that I would tell you to look out for, uh, look out for the, uh, for that transmission. If you know anything about cars, or maybe you don't, and you want to take someone with you that knows about cars, you might want to do that. You want to check it, you want to drive it, you want to, you want to, uh, you know, hit the accelerator, um, keep an eye out on the speedometer, or not the speedometer, the the RPMs, because that's how you can tell when the transmission shifts. Um, this was a one-owner car. And then here is the, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is the paperwork for the transmission. Yeah, I don't know how well you can see that. But it says $3,717.81. That's how much the guy paid. To get the transmission replaced, he did that in February 3rd of 2015. So this has a five-year warranty on the transmission. Um, so 2015, 2020, so it's still under warranty. It still has a couple more months to go. Uh, as you can see on the paper, it says transmission slipping won't move, replace transmission. 
So uh, that's what he did. He replaced the transmission. Oh, here's here's a better look at the receipt. Three thousand seven hundred seventeen dollars and eighty one cents. That's how much he paid to get this transmission replaced. Or well, not replaced. I think he got it remanufactured. And then here is the limited nationwide automatic transmission warranty paper. So, you know, if in the time that I have it, the tranny goes out again, all I have to do is take it here and they'll uh, replace the transmission free of charge. I won't have to pay anything. Here is the window sticker. Cause like I said, it was a one owner. And uh, there's the window sticker. Um, when it was brand new, this cost $40,500. And then total vehicle price, because they charge, as you can see, they charge a $545 destination and handling fee. So the total vehicle price was $41,045. Uh, $41, uh, if you want to know what's the, the, the gas mileage on this, it's 17 City, 23 Highway. Uh, like I said, it's not. It's not, um, it's not, oh, and it has 265 horsepower, 3.5 liters, single overhead cam, 24 valve, VTEP V6 with a five speed automatic transmission. Um, so, so yeah, so if you guys are looking, like I said, to buy, he bought this, uh, Jones Acura Mayhem Pike and Lancaster PA. Um, there's all the features that it has. Uh, if you want to read all those features, hopefully you can see them. And all you have to do is pause the video and you can read all the features that it has. Um, uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? I know I'm missing something. I know I am. Um, here's the touring package because this one is the Acura MDX touring. So the touring brings front passenger. Passengers, eight-way power seat, driver's seat, and outside door ma mirrors memory system. Acura Bose AM and FM consistor with six-disc CD changer. anti theft features and eight speakers. Exclusive whatever wheels, rain-sensing windshield wipers, driver electronic lumbar support, roof rack. Um, and... Ta -ta 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 -ta. And then those are your interior features. Like I said, you guys can hit pause on the video so that you can uh, so you can read all the features that it has. Boom, boom. There you go. Uh, there you go. That's uh, the mileage for the gas. Uh, and then this is obviously where it was made. And you, well, for vehicles in the car line. U.S. Canadian parts content 70%. Major sources of foreign parts content Japan 15%. Here's another thing. This is a one thing that a lot of people don't know. Uh, one of the things that people don't know is when they buy a foreign car, whether it's a VW, whether it is a Nissan, an Infiniti, a Lexus, a Toyota, uh, a Mazda. Give me a second, guys. Yeah, so here's another thing that a lot of people don't know. One of the things that a lot of people don't know is they think that when they buy a, a Japanese car, that it is a Japanese car. Um, you know, that it's very reliable, that it does this, that it does that, that it does the other. Um, in all reality, it's, you can see it here on the paperwork where it says the 70% of the parts are U.S. Canadian parts, and 15% are Japanese parts. So when you buy one of these Japanese cars, you're not really buying a Japanese car. You're buying an American car because you're only getting 15% of the parts in this car are from Japan. The rest of it, the sell the 70%, is from Canada and USA. So there's the broke version of uh, Acura. Uh, it's called a piece of shit Chrysler 300M. It, yeah, it thinks it's a pimp. But anyway, um, I'm pretty much done with this video. I just wanted to let you guys know on a little secret that if you read, if, if, if you really look at it, 
Mira lo que dice aquí. For vehicles in this car line, U.S. Canadian parts content 70%. Major sources of foreign parts content 15% Japan. So, people think that when they buy a, a Honda or an Acura or a Nissan or an Infiniti or a Mazda or whatever the hell, they think they're buying a foreign car. You're not. Because 70% of these cars are made by GM. Uh, hold on a second. So anyway, I guess I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, if you like the video, hit like. If you have any comments, please post them below. Let me know what you think. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And uh, let me know what you think. And like, I, and like I said, if you guys are in the market for this car in particular... Like I said in the video, the one thing you want to look out for is the transmission because Acura is known for having that issue. Uh, I know the 99 to 2003 TLs, they're really bad when it comes to the transmission. The Acura MDX is the same thing. They're known for having bad trannies. So I showed you the paperwork. I, this is still covered for like another 10 months under the transmission warranty because it was a five-year warranty. And like I said, you know, if you don't know more, if you don't know a lot about cars, but you want to buy one of these, you might want to take somebody with you that knows about cars. Don't go by what the dealership or the private seller tells you because nine times out of ten, believe me, they lie. So if you don't know nothing about cars, I would suggest you take someone with you that knows about cars, especially... Hondas in particular, because every car is different. So, God bless. Like I said before, if you like the video, hit like. If you don't like the video, you can hit that unlike button too. You got any ignorant comments or good comments, like I said, post them below. Yeah, Let me know what you think. Um, like I said, if you want to buy one of these, they, they, they're good running cars. I mean, it does run good. It drives good. But then again, you know, the transmission was replaced, so... Obviously, that tells you that, you know, they're, they're known for the transmission issue. Real quick, this is uh, my buddy's car. It's a 2000 Chrysler 300M. Um, it's the gold package. I don't know what what's the difference. I guess the, the letters are gold because other than that, this car is the same from the ones. I've had Chrysler 300Ms before, and they... They look the same to me, so I really don't know. But all right, guys. Like I said, God bless. Take care. And uh, let me know what you think.